start talking about the, the coolers as football players and linebackers in El Mound, you're probably talking about two of the best linebackers we've had, and we've certainly had a lot of really good linebackers. And uh, I'm not going to get into the argument about who was better because I don't want to be on the losing end of that bet, <laughs> okay? But they're both just, just outstanding. And the great thing you can you talk about the Kohler family, you know, they, there was a situation where they might not even been one of ours. Their house was right on the Chippewa Falls, Elk Mound line. And uh, I know that they went to the Elk Mound Elementary and middle school and that kind of thing. But as far as taxes, I think they might have split it back and forth because they're I've heard the line went right through the middle of their house. But all of a sudden, you know, they're starting to be big kids and they look like they're going to be great football players. And I know Chippewa Falls got kind of excited about that. And Coach Rakovich over there, I think, forced a meeting to determine which, which district is actually going to get these kids. And this is a true story. And, and honest to gosh, uh, Jay Silvernell was telling me that uh, at that meeting that they had, uh, Chippewa Falls made an offer and said, hey, we have more computers, we have more curriculum, and we can offer these kids an opportunity to play in a big time. And, and I know uh, Jay, Jay countered that with, uh, well, I'll tell you what, last four years in football, we haven't lost a football game in the conference. And as far as your curriculum, our ACT scores were higher, so they came to Elk Mound. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's how we got the Colers here, and, uh, and we're, we're thankful that Mom and Dad made that decision. Craig Kohler was truly a trailblazer in Elk Mound Athletics. Being a three-sport athlete who excelled in football and baseball, Craig displayed athleticism rarely seen in a small school athlete. A multiple all-conference performer, he had offers to play at the collegiate level in both sports. During the 1988 baseball season, Craig batted an astonishing 622. His average was the second highest in the state and earned him second team All-State honors. On the football field, he not only earned All-Conference honors, but was an All-Northwest selection as well. In basketball, he played an important role on the 1987 state runner-up team as the first person off the bench. As a senior, he was named All-Conference and All-Northwest. Craig signed a national letter of intent to play Division II football at the University of North Dakota. He was the first Elkbound athlete to receive a scholarship to play football. Playing linebacker, Craig had a successful career at UND. Leading the team in tackles, he was named All-Conference and served as team captain during both his junior and senior years. Craig ended his playing days as one of the top 10 linebackers in the history of the program for assisted tackles and interceptions. Craig would like to thank his family and the Elk Mound coaching staff in all sports for their support and guidance throughout his high school career. His days at Elk Mound High School have provided him with many positive memories and lessons that have helped shape him as a person. Jeff Kohler attended Elk Mound High School from 1988 to 1992. During his time as a Mounder, he became one of the most dominant football players in program history. A three-time letter winner, Jeff was named first team all Dun St. Croix Conference as both a linebacker and offensive tackle, and was voted as the team's best tackler and MVP his senior season. As a team captain, he was named first team all Northwest, all district, in all region as a linebacker. He capped off his senior season by being chosen honorable mention All-State and playing in the Wisconsin Shrine Bowl All-Star Classic. Jeff also had the privilege of playing on three Dunn St. Croix Conference Championship teams, which included the 89 and 90 teams that played in the state finals. Jeff also participated in basketball where he was named honorable mention All-Conference as well as honorable mention All-Northwest. After graduating, Jeff went on to have a stellar career playing linebacker for South Dakota State University. He was voted by his teammates as the Scout Team Defensive Player of the Year, and as a senior was recognized by the conference as a first team all NCC defensive lineman. Jeff would like to thank his family for their encouragement and support. He would also like to thank the coaches at Elkbound High School 
for teaching him lessons that have impacted him well after his playing days ended. Lastly, Jeff would like to recognize his teammates. The games played may fade, but the people he played with will always be a part of this special time in his life.